Our journey into personalized learning is that we opened as a fully flipped school mm -hmm. thinking that that technological shift would be really magically engaging for children um, and really change their experience of learning. Um, we learned really quickly that if kids don't do school, if they don't know how to learn, mm -hmm. um, changing something like one of the tools that they used was, was not the answer at all. Um, they just didn't do that kind of school. Right. It's not about the laptop or the device or um, what type of technology is it. it the, the centerpiece still needs to be the teacher and the instruction and the teacher's willingness to kind of step outside their comfort zone and try something new to be relatable to the students and presenting that in a digital format, um, how they're teaching is, is huge. And it's not, um, it's not about the device, it's about teaching still, teaching the standards, connecting with your students, and this is just a great way to do that. As a school that's now in year five of our Bring Your Own Device program, um, I think in the first three years we followed a specific path and then you start to get more comfortable. Um, so we did in this last year kind of refocus on BYOD now that our students are very comfortable with devices we were seeing them maybe pull it out for more personal use and wanting to make sure that when they walk through our doors in the morning that they know the focus is that device is instructional. We're not going to focus on our social media. So this year it was really great to start off the year as a school. We kind of established those norms again because um, we've had BYOD at the school for a few years. But we just needed a refresher about the system. So we've gone to a red paw or a green paw. Green means it's free to use with teacher discretion still. And then red means they should be out of sight. Personally, I use it's park your own device. So that means in your backpack, in your desk, in your pocket, out of sight. And some students who can't handle that responsibility get a parking spot where they have to park their device every day. Being willing to learn something new when it comes to integrating digital tools in the classroom or being willing to um, change your multiple choice test to a digital project that a student can create is, is a huge step for teachers. And we're constantly promoting that, that growth in the building. And, and we see it, you know, we see teachers and kids engaged in some of these learning activities because we're pushing them.